Hey guys, here's a quick tutorial on how to use mask. Now there's two different masks here. First one is this one right here, which just is a matter of using selection selecting purpose of selecting, sorry. So if once you click on this, mask is applied, your layer became bold. This is an empty layer, just you to know. I created a new layer which is right here, the icon. And you will use default white and black, press D or this icon right here to make it default and your black works like a paint and white as an eraser so you grab a black brush and then you paint it over and it will create this reddish overlaying paint now you can use hard brush you can change it doesn't matter you can use grass you can't see it but something that you can see let's make this bigger like that a bunch of stars be all corny about it and what <laughs> what this does and then you can use a white brush to make an invert selection uh, or eraser you know, eraser also does have brush options so you can kind of use it in the same method but in the end the red part including the soft edge as you see right here as it's fading that becomes a selection so it's definitely different than using lasso tool or selection or even magic wand. It gives you that soft feather effect mixed with the hard edge, including opacity, the strength of the choice, the selection. So once you unmask it now, this whole thing that you saw, the red, becomes selection. Now you see in the outline of the canvas, outside, sorry, um, it's highlighted with the selection. So it means the red is not selected the non-red is selected so what you want to do is right click or app, make sure you're on the tool the selection tool and then right click and select inverse this will bring you back to that painting that you were seeing earlier now to show you what you guys originally painted i'm going to color this in black and again see you see that soft edge the invert the strength of the opacity the hard edge it captures all that now lasso tool or or martique tool or magic wand cannot provide this exact same effect and it's a lot easier especially when you want to capture specific fast rendering <clears throat> so that's one way of masking it another way and this is more for professional users or any advanced photoshop user is um, I'm just gonna duplicate the layer control D, uh, J or right click and duplicate and then this is the exact same layer it's not an empty layer I'm just gonna go back to medium for you guys to show you uh, so I'm gonna go to fill adjustment and then curve to add more contrast and right now I let's say I like this contrast right here just for the bottom but I hate it for the sky because I want to keep the blueness but if you increase it too much it becomes white and you lose that blueness right so let's say I want to keep this bold strong grunge effect on the metal and the dirt but I don't want this exact same strength for the sky I will click on this canvas right here the white one make sure you're clicked on it see there's a difference and I mean if you want to change it double click here and then you can change the strength of it you can always go back but let's say I want to maintain this right I click on this and grab a brush <laughs> not the starry one <laughs> the legit brush and as I'm just gonna show you with a hard brush if you click on it your curve effect is not applied where you're being you're painting on and you can see the paint right here so for photo editing just because this is uh, metallic doesn't mean you want to use hard edge brush because then then you have to work on the little um, every little detail and you can see the the two effects being changed so it's really hard to um, edit out specific what you want to use is non hard brush or maybe like a bit hard doesn't matter because it blends easier you know like you can't really tell where the edge is so it's easier it looks more natural and using the brush or zoom sorry and different brush size 
the greater the greater and uh, less bracket sign actually helps you increase the brush size. I'm gonna make this harder actually, and then just brush. I'm sorry, that's too hard. Brush around. Sorry, I'm. What am I doing? I'm focusing on the ground, so I will brush. Brush around here, and I don't want the cranes. There you go. And then the metallic thing too. The scoop. You don't want to like. It doesn't matter if you're on the dead line or not, like the dead edge, because. Your eyes can only see so much, everything just naturally blends in. <clears throat> now what you have here is... You only now have selected the bottom part of the... The, the curve is only applied to the bottom, the, the dirt. Sorry, I'm stumbling on my words today. Uh, now let's say I want to do the curve for the sky now. I will cancel this for now, create a new curve, and then do whatever I want. I want to keep that blueness, so I will bring this down, increase this to give the cloud more life. Not too much, because it kind of looks like that then, obviously. Just like that. Let's say I want to keep that sky. I will now click on this layer and paint over simply the ground. But I mean, this method is nice, but make sure this is this doesn't have to do with masking. It has to do with your eye actually. Um, make sure this contrast and this contrast matches. You know, you don't want to make one too dark like that, oops, and make it look completely retarded where this is completely over contrast. And this is, you know, it looks normal. Like, it's your eyes that tells you what looks natural if it blends together. And, like, one way of doing this, this is one way. There's another way, like, there's multiple ways. Photoshop, there's always no such thing as a solid answer. There's always multiple ways. You're always going to have haters commenting, saying, Oh, there's a better way to do this. Hey. But apparently, it's it's the matter of how everyone grew up with Photoshop. So that's the basics of masking. I mean, you can always like you can always use pen tool if you know how to help you with the selection, not just brush, and even lasso tool. So you can kind of use combination of different selection tools, including magic wand, to help you. So play around and hope you get the concept and create something amazing out of it. Enjoy.